Hi, I'm Ray Comfort. Welcome to a discussion between myself and the well-known internet entity Thunderfoot. The future is bright. And the reason the future is bright is because of the growth of knowledge. The reason that I, I stand on the vantage point that I do is because there are people before me, like me, who believed in the growth of knowledge. Those who stood on the shoulders of giants, this sort of thing. But the work of their hands actually lives in a very tangible form in my mind. It isn't in the, work, the, the work of the Hans Weinstein, Curie, and all this lot, they all actually live within me. And I want to actually make life better for the next generation. I want to see the growth of knowledge. And, and, and I, I see what you do when you sow this disinformation about evolution. What I would say is disinformation about evolution. I see this as retarding the potential of mankind. And that's one of the major um, uh, beefs that I have with you here. Well, I don't believe evolution is a viable science. I think it's a, it's a theory of man. It's a, the Theories are what the descriptive. Theories are descriptive. But it's unproven. There's the no science. evidence. There's no species to species transitional forms in the fossil record. There's nothing. So you should take a look. What is your understanding of evolution? I see every animal brings forth after its own kind. As right, the Bible right. says, I see it in creation and I see it in scripture. But why on earth would I believe that animals evolved when the Bible makes it very clear that God made man in his image, that he gave every animal that No. You just said earlier it was metaphorical. No, we've got the we've got the character of God. We've got the ability to love, the ability to appreciate music, the ability to understand righteousness and morality. That's that's not metaphoric. You're made in God's image in that sense. So a, you, know, you can tie me in knots with evolution, but I don't believe it. You do, I don't. You've got faith in the word of man. You've got faith in what the professor told yes, you. Yes, the word of man gives us this way. Yeah, but this is God's creation. No, this is man's creation. Man created that. Man can't create God you see from nothing. I really want to touch on okay. e e evolution from speciation. Let me describe to you speciation that when you have an animal, that you, you need a certain degree of genetic compatibility. If there is too much genetic difference between one animal and the next, then when sperm and egg come together, you can't get a new creature. Right? So this, when this point happens, that's speciation. Now there is something that uh, you, you do get uh, changes in the genome. Mm. You're talking microevolution. Yes. Well, I believe in that. Right, okay. Well, there's actually a salamander that runs down both sides of, one comes down the coastal range, one comes down the Sierra Nevada. Mm -hmm. And each one can interbreed with the next. Each one brings forth after its own kind. So happen. They stay within the same species. Yes, but by the time you get down to the bottom, right, there is sufficient difference in the gene pools. These salamanders on both ends of this fork cannot interbreed. So they don't bring the fourth over. Uh, this is speciation. It's called fourth species. Yeah, it's not all you need. All, all, it's not proof of Darwinian evolution. That is evolution. Yeah, but it's not proof of Darwinian evolution. Yeah. You're saying two little frogs can't, can't come together and produce, yeah. reproduce after their own kind. That happens with people. No. Some people can't have children. Uh, that's infertility. No, well, it's these little frogs have got an infertility problem. No, it's not infertility. It's that they're no longer genetically compatible. Okay, they're no longer genetically compatible. And now, 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 now scrolls clock forward over a few million years. How much do you think these differences can occur? They just can't interbreed. You can right. do dogs. If you do that with dogs, so you keep interbreeding dogs. There's, there's a point of time when they're so true. different. Yeah. They won't be able to breed. Yeah. But it's not proof of evolution. It's That's a de-evolution. That's speciation. Okay. Right. And there's such a thing as speciation. Right. That's the only boundary. So I mean, I, I, I've seen these things that you have, like the you know, crocodile, or the idea that a man will actually give birth to something that's half a chimp or something. Right. This is. This no, is I, I would like to find some animal that's not of its own kind, other than the speciation thing. But that's how it works. It's the self-selecting criterion. There is a limit to the rate of change of the DNA. So you need time. Yeah. Time is your god. No. Time is the creator. So it's either fast or slow. I mean, it depends. You you only say that it's slow because of the time scales that you're used to working on. You know, seconds, hours, days. Mm. Um, but the geological time scale puts the age of the Earth at about four and a half billion years old. So you believe? This is. That's what the evidence is saying. So you believe? That's it's the faith. evidence. No. It's a faith. Yeah, it's the same faith that built the technology before us. 
It's, so it's a belief. It, it is the chemistry, the physics, the mathematics, the biology. All of this are the geology. They all point to an ancient Earth. Right? The uh, fossil record and genetic. You know, we, we have sequenced the genomes now of about 200 animals. And the phylogenetic tree that you get from the genomes and the fossil record overlay verbatim. 